features in Coding Matter version 4.2, and that is view decorators. Now what view decorators do is right before your view is cached, it gives you an opportunity to modify the HTML. So why would you want to do that? Uh, one thing that we're going to explore today is using kind of a snippets feature. You know, like some CMSs will have where you can replace pieces of text all throughout any view in your application with a little snippet. You can do, think of it as a text expander. Um, and we're going to do something kind of similar to that today with a, with a simple Mad Lib here that I found online. Another possible use, and the reason I originally did it, was to be able to extend the view system. In this case, I wanted to create some view components for Bonfire. Um, and so I needed to tap into the uh, view rendering system. And so that's why I created it for that. I'm sure there's many, many other ideas they can come up with. Uh, like I said, this happens just before caching. So if you cache your view, it'll already be done and will not have to reprocess. So let's take a look at how this works. All right, so first, as you can see, I've got a really simple Madlib file come up uh, sitting here, right? And it is just um, a basic bootstrap file. Very simple, a few extra styles here and a paragraph. Um, that just has some spans to color it. And then the, here we have the text that we want to replace. If you've ever done Mad Libs before, you'll know they ask you to choose, you know, random animals, um, and nouns, adjectives, stuff like that. And I, I found this one on a kid's line, or a kid's uh, Mad Lib site, and so I decided to use that and just kind of filled it in. Now, as you can see, right now, it's not doing any processing, right? Because it's just showing what we need to fill in to these, each of these um, blank areas here. So what we do is let's, we, we create a new class here that extends Coding Matter View, View Decorator Interface. And we can put that wherever we want. In order to um, satisfy this interface, it must have the one static function here of decorate, accepting a single string of HTML. And then what, all you have to do is to return that same, or return the modified HTML. In this case, we're doing it very simple. You could do it a whole lot more complex if you wanted. Um, but in this case, we're really simple. We've got a, a series of things that we would like to replace. And so it's very easy. We just do the string translate here to swap out all instances of these with the, the corrected terms here. Okay, so just having the class obviously doesn't do it. So we have to tell how to implement it, right? So we come to our view config file. Uh, this is in config your app config view folder or view file and way down at the bottom here it's got a new section here called decorators in decorators just give it the name of the class i've already put it here and commented it out so this is the name of the class that i was using before so now that that view decorator is listed here it will be ran for every view uh, and parser in um, view that's used throughout your application every page every fragment of a page um, everywhere. So this is a global find and replace or global processor on your generated HTML. This can happen after any template and files. After all that, you can do whatever you want with it and modify how you want. So now that we have shown it, or now that we have placed it here, it knows to find load up this class and assuming it's a valid file, meaning it correctly implements this interface, it will call this static method on it and modify the view um, or modify the contents of the HTML prior to letting it uh, go to the client. So let's see what happens when we do that. Now let's go back and make sure we saved here. There we go. So now if we refresh, all of these, these spots should be filled in with the proper values. And we can see that they are. And that is simply because this view decorator took and used string translate to replace all instances of that, uh, of these items with their values within this HTML. And that's what view decorators, that's a very simple look at view, depor, view decorators. Obviously, it can be a whole lot more complex. Like I said, with Bonfire, I've created um, the beginnings of a view component system. Uh, if you used Laravel's component system or web components, it's similar in nature to both of those. Uh, basically allows you to create your own HTML, custom HTML elements. Um, so that's what I was using it for there. Here's a snippet system. I would love to hear what you guys can think of to use it for that. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.